Harden and Brandon Ingram, or is it AD and LeBron? It's a good question. Uh, <laughs> it's a good question because we've seen both have their moments. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the youth, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going with Zion and, and, uh, and, and Ingram, especially as of late. Uh, Zion, his biggest thing has always been health. That's mm -hmm. been his biggest issue. Absolutely. When this guy's on the floor, man, there is nobody physically in the NBA that can guard him. He is a, he's a, a, a matchup nightmare. He's too big for smaller guards, and he's too uh, quick for, for centers and guys that they try to put him on. You talk about this matchup tonight. This is probably my favorite game of the in-season tournament, in, in, in the playoffs specifically. We got... AD and Zion going at it. I want one of them to establish themselves early. I'm talking about first quarter, second quarter. Okay. We talked about it earlier. Zion's got to go through AD's chest. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's got to be time. every single time. He's got to play that physical inside out. And I would like to see AD do the same thing. Because what for what he lacks and maybe strength, what Zion has, he has in size and length. He could do this. You know what I mean? I, I, but I like the, I like the, I like the Ingram-Zion mm -hmm. pairing. That's my favorite. I, it, it's hard for me to go against LeBron and AD. It is. It's it, difficult. It, 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 <laughs> I, I get the offensive output yeah. by Zion and, and B.I. because they are special. Yeah. Nobody is belittling or demeaning how special of a duo that they are. But you know this Austin a little bit, and I call, always call Austin AR. It's sometimes like, you know, it, it feels like the lack of experience a little bit I think will come into play as it relates to this question about who is better. In big game moments, I trust LeBron James mm. and his decision-making and his leadership. I think there are certain attributes, even though I think Zion and B.I. might have a higher ceiling talent-wise, uh -huh. I, I think those below-the-lines types of attributes that lead to championships, I trust more in that pedigree of LeBron and A.D. in doing the difficult things in those hard moments Maybe because I haven't seen Zion and B.I. do that yet, we haven't yet. in the we big haven't. moments. Yeah, yeah. So that gives me a tendency to trust more in LeBron to do those things in the weeds, like those defensive possessions or the IQ. He's been there. He's had those four yeah. steals they had the other night. You saw him making those steals as a free safety defensively. Mm -hmm. Like nobody's giving him credit even for down, stuff Even like down that. the stretch of the season, like even later in the season, in year 21, He's playing 40 minutes a night right now, we're seeing. I mean, like, I mean as, Austin, in the game with, with, with KD, in the game with Devin Booker, in the game with Anthony Davis, he was the best player on the floor at 38 years old, and he got steals down the stretch. Like, nobody's talking about how, how big he is How much of that is, is, his, is his work ethic and how he takes care of his body, well, even beyond none. the talent? He's second to none. I mean, he talked about it. I think that what that stat came out a couple years ago, he spends over a million dollars on his body. That was like the new wow, not just in basketball, but yeah. across sports. Everybody was like, whoa, this guy goes to that length to, like, take care of himself, and now we're seeing... Yeah, but it pays dividends. We're seeing now, you know, and that's no disrespect to someone like, look at Udonis Haslam, right? Great NBA career, played a long time. You saw how his body was in year 20 mm. versus how LeBron's is, and I know a lot of that's genetics, but a lot of that just has to do with how much this guy is crazy about yep. taking care of himself, and I just still, man, I, I do hear you, though. They have the experience. In terms of decision-making, LeBron's probably what? Probably the best ever. The best there is, yeah. yeah. And, uh... See, yeah. I'll, I'll raise you one level on this, though. Ready? I just want New Orleans to win. I know, I know. I, I, just, I, 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 I think New Orleans like has got everything. Well, that's, yeah, 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 that's yeah. a different question, though. Yeah. Because well, I, I think the Pelicans could, are going to win tonight, right? Doesn't mean better season. I'm just trying to tell like who I think. Yeah. But to raise it a level, we talk about the physical conditioning of LeBron. Just to take it a step up. Yeah. The mental conditioning mm. of this dude, combined with the physical conditioning, you know how hard it is, Molly, for people to think when they're damn tired. Yeah. yeah. Like, Absolutely. You know, it happens on TV. All the time. <laughs> Literally. I mean, slur your words. Yeah. You might misspeak, right? Yeah, like, of course. When you get into the fourth quarter, down the stretch, the ability when everybody's body is tired, uh -huh. to make that, to be that type of a tactician that LeBron James is, like, that, that's what levels him up other than other players yep. in the league, to think the game when he's tired. The other thing I want to know, Jay Will, is – which star scary to face or scary to the opposition in this respect when we're talking about the in-season tournament? Is it Dame or is it Halliburton? Oh, is he? Ah. It's tough. I, it's, I would say Dame from a clutch perspective mm. because there's nobody in the league like him from a okay. clutch perspective. Okay. Uh, down the stretch, if you need a bucket, yes. As it relates to a full 48 minutes, so I – yeah. It's hard not to go like Tyrese is that answer for me. Him at Burton, just because his team averages 128 points per game. He accounts for 50% of their scoring yep. between points and assists. And it's the style in which they play, man. It's yep. fast. Yep. And also, Austin, like he gives one of the things I hate about guards sometimes 
is the guys who get the ball and they just pound the ball out. They pound it out the entire possession. Exactly. This dude just kicks the ball ahead. The he allows ball. you to make plays, and that's what. So I would say Tyrese from a full game perspective, but in the clutch, I'll go with Dame. I, I have to agree. The, the best thing you just said was how Tyrese plays. It's infectious, too. The extra yeah, yeah, pass, yeah. the hockey pass. He doesn't get the assists all the time, but he kicks the ball ahead and creates motion. They're the fastest-paced team in the league. It looks like they have fun playing with each other, all of them. You can see their bench and how live they are when, when the starters are in, when the bench is in, the whole team is in. Give Shout-out to Carlisle for that. Mm -hmm. um, listen, I – Damian is, is one of the best clutch players of all time. We know this, yeah. and especially right now in the NBA. If we're talking about who's a bigger threat, it, it has to be Tyrese just for the output that he has to, to put for their team to even be competitive, whereas Damian is in a situation for the first time in his career where he's not – he is second fiddle. He's not the mm -hmm. first option. He's playing alongside Giannis, a two-time MVP. Again, in the clutch, I know he has the ball in his hands a lot, but the whole game is dependent upon Tyrese doing what he does. If he has an off game, they don't win. It's just not going to happen. I'm not saying they're not capable of winning some regular season games, but in the playoffs or in the in-season tournament, for the Pacers to have any type of success, Tyrese. he has to be spectacular. Whereas Dame can be good if Giannis goes for 50 and they have a chance to win. You know what I'm saying? So I the really wish we were, but it's I nice really to see the Pacers and Pelicans in this. You know, absolutely have some it different is. I really wish we were debating the that question. Yeah, that you just called Dame Lillard second fiddle to Giannis. Yeah, he, I, he is not second fiddle. He's not the second best player on that team? I, I, I would say that I, I, I don't think that's second fiddle. The Josh, can I let player. them go here? What's the I don't deal? think that's second fiddle as go opposed to it, second guys. best player. I think they have shared responsibilities. I think there are a lot of They more, definitely have shared responsibilities. I, I think who's, are, whose team is it? No, I, well, it's going to be Giannis' team because Dame be came to Giannis' yeah, team. But by, don't get that twisted, though. In really clutch moments, Giannis defers to Dame. And Depending by the way, on he, what they need. But, but, if they, they need are. a three, if they need a three, if, if you're saying you're down one, you're not throwing it to Giannis at full head of steam to make a play? I'm saying I, I, either one works for me. You're still Either one works for me depending upon the matchup and depending upon the game. Like, I, I think that's 1A, well, 1A. Well, what's wrong with me saying second fiddle? I, I just think for players. You just don't like it. I don't like it. You don't want to actually feel it. You don't like it, huh? Well, because, well, how many times has Dame been called second fiddle in his It doesn't career? matter. Listen, J James Harden was never that until he's had to bounce Are around a couple of you comparing James Harden to Dame Lewis? Well, if we're talking career, James Harden has had a better you, you don't want to take James Harden's numbers over, over Dame? I played with James in Houston. Ain't nobody seeing him. I, I agree. Oh, what's Dame, which, which James are we talking about? Because I'll, I'll take the mentality of Dame all no, day over Listen, James. Listen, bro. bro. James Harden in Houston, especially his last two years before the bubble. I understand that. Buddy was no, the I, best guard in the NBA. I agree with you. And that's including that's including I, the guys who won. Um, Steph Curry was an MVP, but in terms of the output, you talk about what Tyrese does for a team. James Harden in those days in, in Houston, bro, he was – we're talking about triple double, then 30 games in a row with 30 or more. That takes a lot of mentality to do. So are we talking about the second fiddle or has it turned into who is it, who, what player would you rather have, Dame or James? In their prime, I'm, in their prime, James, and to answer your question, I do think Damian is second fiddle to, to, okay. to, to Giannis. There's, there should be an ego no, no, no. in that. Okay. I think the more he accepts it, the better he'll be. I think the better they'll be. I think when someone is open to take a back seat to someone, it usually, like, but, provides have clarity. You like but, but see, that's funny. I see them both driving the car. I see them both in the front seat. I don't see anybody in the back seat. It's like seat. the driver's the car. They both are on the steering wheel, but one has a little bit more control than the other. Yeah, but That's all I'm saying. Like, Giannis has to be the guy that's... I don't know. I've seen a lot of games where Giannis wasn't the guy where Dame carried the torch. Offensively. And listen, there's some nights no, Jordan didn't have it and Pippen had it, but it, we all know who's, who's bust it was. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's, this is Giannis's team. What are we saying I, here? No, bro? no, I'm not trying to debate whose team it is. That's, that's I my understand point. One's over, but it, it, that doesn't mean second fiddle to me, though. Second fiddle means, hey, you take a back we seat. Look up second I'll fiddle. call for you in time after time. But, like, to me, this is a shared okay. thing. You're 1A, 1A. Yeah, that's what, is it 1 and 1A, maybe? Is that fair? It's, it's that, that's still going to be second fiddle to him. <laughs> It's still, in a clutch moment, who are you going bothering. to? Listen, man. In nobody, a wait, wait, let me ask you. It's a trick. In, 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 in the playoffs. No, I, lo I love them both. We lost both my guys. In a clutch meant. moment, in a clutch moment, who are you going to? But that doesn't, that doesn't mean he's not That doesn't mean he's not second fiddle. That just means he's better I'll at be an area. Me. He's better at a certain time maybe than Giannis is. In the, in the other 47 minutes of the game? That's a valid point. Yeah, that's, so that just but means But Dane can't carry the torch for 47 minutes? He can, he can, but Giannis has done it and got okay. it to the championship. The definition, the definition to unique. second fiddle is one that plays a supporting or subservient role. We'll go with supporting. Subs See, subservient. subservient? No, that's, that's a like different like connotation. Like See, I knew that definition no. in my mind. No. There's Subserv no way Dame is subservient. Okay, so not so crazy supporting. <laughs> We're going with supporting. <laughs> okay, supporting. That was really good, guys. So Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện 
một cú đấm bằng 100 yên trong quyển 28 của Doraemon. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện và mong các bạn hãy chia sẻ và ấn kênh, like kênh ủng hộ mình. Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện nổi tiếng nhờ từ điển sinh vật mới trong quyển 28 của Doraemon. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện và các bạn nhớ nhớ ủng hộ và chia sẻ kênh của mình. Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện bí mật thầm kín của Shizuka à, trong quyển 28 của Doraemon. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện và mong các bạn ủng hộ và chia sẻ kênh à, theo dõi kênh. Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện đồ nghề tu luyện ninja trong quyển 28 của Doraemon. Mình sẽ... Và bây giờ mình sẽ đọc câu chuyện và mong các bạn ủng hộ và theo dõi kênh của mình Takashi Ho ho con xin lỗi mẹ Cháu bỏ qua cho nó nhé Nobita Sao lúc nào cậu cũng bị bắt nạn thế Vậy mới khó Cậu có cách gì giúp tớ không? Đúng rồi, dùng thử thứ này xem sao Cậu lại có cái gì hay ho à? Đây là đề can anh em Dán cái này lên lưng Cậu sẽ trở thành em trai tên mập đồi rốn trai ăn Cậu một cái Còn cái kia dành cho trai ăn Để tớ đi dán vào lưng nó Có thật là nhờ cái này Mình sẽ không bị nó bắt nạt nữa không? Ê, hậu đậu lại đây chơi ném bóng Xin lỗi, tớ không thích chơi Không thích cũng phải chơi Chơi kém quá Ôi đau quá Dám ném vào ông à Tại cậu chụp trượt đấy chứ Ê, làm gì em trai tao thế hả Em có sao không Từ nay có ai bắt nạt Nhớ gọi anh nghe nhé Dạ Tất cả nghe đây, các cậu phải thương yêu chiều chuộng em trai tớ rõ chưa? À, món đồ chơi này hay đấy. Cho em tớ mượn một lúc nhé. Và video của mình đến đây là kết thúc. Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở các video tiếp theo. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình. Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Thiên nhiên trong phòng trong quyển 20 của Doraemon Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Cái đầu con con Trong quyển 20 của Doraemon Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Ảnh năng lượng mặt trời lập thể Trong quyển 20 của Doraemon Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Chuyến tàu đêm tới giải Ngân Hà trong quyển 20 của Doraemon Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Và mong các bạn theo dõi ủng hộ kênh giúp mình Trai Em và Sumio hãy nghe đây Trong vòng một phút các ngươi phải rời khỏi đó ngay Mày là ai? Ở đâu hả? Tưởng dọa thế là bọn ta bỏ chạy à? Đừng hòng Bằng không sẽ gặp tai họa đấy Ê cái gì thế? Trả thù được rồi Ha 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 Tớ đi chọc quê tụi nó chơi Ơ ờ, sao không có đường ra thế này? Đây là đèn pin mở đường máu Cậu chiếu đèn pin tới đâu? Chỗ đó sẽ biến thành đường hầm Tới nơi rồi, tội nó kìa, đáng đời các cậu. Khi ta trở về, lối đi tự động biết lại, đảm bảo không ai phát hiện ra. Ở đây chắc chắn có đường hầm bí mật. Hay lắm, từ căn hầm bí mật này, tớ sẽ quan sát mọi vật trên mặt đất. Để diệt trừ kẻ gian giúp đỡ người tốt, 
bắt đầu từ nhà Siroka. Cô ấy mà đang tắm thì ngại lắm. Không có cô ấy ở đây mê quá. Chắc cô ấy ra ngoài. Đi đâu đó? Ê bé con đi chơi với anh đi. Trời, Siroka bị bắt nạt rồi. Cho hắn sơi tên lửa hắt hơi mau. Có chuyện gì thế? Hình như có tiếng mẹ quát tháo. Novita lại bị không điểm nữa rồi. Thôi chết, bị mẹ phát hiện ra. Nhưng mẹ cũng quá lắm, tự nhiên mở ngăn kéo bàn mình. Và video của mình đến đây là kết thúc. Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở các video tiếp theo.